is the manure spreader the dumbest tool on the farm? What? Because it's constantly kicking the shit out of itself. <laughs> it's a bad one. Llama urine and poop excrement in general is uh, really acidic. So it eats away at metal. Any metal, doesn't really matter it seems. So that's what's happened here, it's just ate right through the steel. Well, let's get this stuff cleaned out. I basically just took a llama poop shower. <laughs> that just sprayed dried llama poop all over my being. almost cut through this side and the temptation would be to cut all the way through this side but then this side is going to be all floppy and wonky when I try to cut it it's going to be harder to hold up so I'm going to move the block to the other side I'm going to cut this one all the way through and then I'll just have a tiny little bit to finish severing here so sometimes you know thinking a move or two ahead will save you a lot of headache in the long run watching the sweat just like drip off my nose and off my eyebrows. I don't like the humidity. So a bandsaw like this for cutting this thin steel is a little overkill, but it makes life easy. And this thing is going to be super useful when we're cutting all the drifts and we're cutting the keel bolt fasteners. Because the keel bolts are one and a quarter inch diameter solid silicon bronze rods. So imagine cutting through that with a hacksaw. Uh, for this, we can just put it in and the weight of the head will slowly cut through it. Normally I don't hold onto the head, but I was holding it with this light metal because the bandsaw blade's fairly aggressive and the stuff's really light and the weight is a little too much. It'll take too big of a cut. So I was just gently holding up on it as it went down. But normally you just set it and walk away and a few minutes later you'll hear the metal fall on the ground and you know it's finished and then you can come by and shut it off which would be great when we're cutting up all those bronze rods. 